Hi, my name is Andy Putman. I'll be demoing a project for EX373. Um, basically, we made a mini generation uh, touchscreen based interface. Um, so, I'll just be stepping through the different functionality and kind of give you a quick demo of it. Um, what you're looking at here is uh, a touchpad overlaid on a VGA display screen. So, we're interfacing to the touch, basically, and mapping out buttons virtually, processing that data, and then updating on the screen. So, you see me touch here or here. Uh, you can turn on or off buttons essentially. Slides uh, down a row like that will turn on the entire thing. Um, also across. Uh, sliding back will uh, invert all the pages or all the buttons. Um, when they first load the program, what you see on the top is basically a view of eight columns. Each column represents a different page that you can freely program. So what, I, what you really should start by is essentially composing the drums. So I'll turn on the entire track of drums. Um, then I want I need to program this track. To go there, I click the top button um, in the top corner here, uh, which stays red, indicating that I'm on the, the drum page. Uh, pressing that button again will take me back to the top page here, uh, showing me basically when the drums are on or off. Right now I have it on for the entire time. So I'll step back in here and press play. We have a keypad here um, which, that's numeric and has a few other button functions. So pressing A, um, you can see the yellow light kind of stepping through uh, in musical time. If I go back up to the top page, well, you see that it's moving slower. That's because each column on the top page represents eight beats of music, where within a page, each column only really represents one beat of music. So if I want to, I can actually speed it up here. Um, up to about 250 BPMs um, and as high as 420 BPMs. So you can see it going pretty fast there. Just slow it back down to 250 and I'll start composing this here. So, so as you can see, it's playing just three simple noises basically. So once you're satisfied with a basic uh, beat there, you can go back to the top page and add a few more sounds. So I'm gonna work on the second drum track here. So just get something real basic going here. So back up to the top page, now let's start adding some actual music here. So I'll choose the third track here. It's preset to certain values kind of hear a little bass going in there. So a vertical slide this way will create a hold note, while a slide backwards will turn off everything there. Touching the middle of a hold note will divide it into two separate notes. And say I don't like this bass noise, I can actually choose a different thing, such as So you can choose any instrument you want from the MIDI keyboard and change the sound there. Additionally, I can mute any single track at a single time. So as I step down, this, this represents the mute buttons. So now I have that entire thing off, but then drag myself over the air, we'll uh, turn those back on. Stepping back to the top page, I can actually turn off the drums one by one here, turn them back on or turn on just that one single page I've programmed. So for now, let's just leave that one sound on and start programming something else here. Yeah, he'll be here in a second. So you basically play around with uh, the fly. Sorry, I'm just repeating. So I can turn on or off the different points of, in time here. So in this place, only the, the high pitch noise would be playing. And when it gets to this part, only the um, lower tones would be playing. And once again, at any point, I can mute that track there turn off the drums at a certain point. And 
on the fly. I can also adjust the speed. Or slow it down to the, the slowest possible. Additionally, we can pause or play on the fly. Pausing on a note will cause the note to be held, and we can reset to the beginning of the file at any point. And then, if I don't like what I have, I can just press the clear all button. It'll stop the playback and clear everything I've programmed in there, and I can start from the beginning. So that's just a simple demo.